hello everyone so till now we have uh, solved problems on uh, cantilever beams by moment area method to find slope and deflection so now let us solve problems on uh, simply supported beams so let us consider the first problem a simply supported beam so either both the supports are simple supports or one end is hinged and one, one more end is roller that is also called as simple support okay so let us consider a concentrated load w kilonewton in general type of loading so standard loading so let us consider this w exactly at the center this is point a this is point p okay so here find maximum deflection and maximum slope okay so what is delta max and what is theta max so first you need to understand where the maximum slope will be and where the maximum deflection will be in case of simply supported beam so if you consider a simply supported beam okay so if it is subjected to some type of loading so it may have the deflection something like this okay so at the point of maximum deflection always slope will be zero because if i draw a tangent at this particular point so it will be parallel to this okay because of that there will not be any slope this point and this line and this line they will not meet only okay so what you need to understand here is at point of maximum deflection equal to slope zero at the point of maximum deflection slope is zero at maximum deflection slope will be zero so here the maximum deflection so here support is there here there is no deflection here support is there there is no deflection so at the maximum deflection will be somewhere at the center if the load is symmetrical what is symmetrical load from this support from this support if it is acting exactly at the center or else the symmetrical support may be something like this also udl throughout it is an also symmetrical or else a concentrated load to concentrated load acting at equidistance okay so l by 3 l by 3 l by 3 something like this so these all are the examples of symmetrical load so on the entire span if we consider the load will be symmetrical whenever you come across the symmetrical type of loading the deflection will be maximum exactly at the center okay so at that particular point at the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero because if i draw a tangent so this line and this line they will not meet there will not be any slope developed okay so but here if the load is unsymmetrical then there is a question thus uh, maximum deflection will not be exactly at the center it may be near to the center okay and where the maximum slope will be so at the simply supported beam if the load is symmetrical so this slope and this slope at the support slope will be maximum and both will be same okay so if i draw elastic curve like this slope here and slope here okay at the support it will be maximum and they will be same if the unsymmetrical loading is there then that is what you mean by unsymmetrical loading so somewhere here it is from 2 meters it is from 3 meters okay it may have the deflection something like this near to the center it may be maximum but not exactly at the center okay total span is 5 meters so the deflection is maximum near to 2.5 meters but not exactly at 2.5 meters not exactly at the center even the slope this slope and this slope so they will be different they will not be same okay so you need to find this maximum slope and maximum deflection in case of simply supported beam okay so again we will be using the same theorems moment area theorem 1 and moment area theorem 2 so here in this problem so what it is 
asymmetrical load so l by 2 l by 2 a constant load exactly at the center if i find the reactions w by 2 w by 2 correct this is w by 2 w by 2 total load divided by 2 because it is an symmetrical load okay so if i draw the elastic curve so let us draw the elastic curve here one more figure so it is something like this so here this slope and this slope this is theta a and this slope is theta b okay and exactly at the center so this is delta this is delta max at the symmetrical loading maximum deflection will be at the center this theta a and theta will be same they are equal okay since the symmetrical loading is there is that okay so now the bending moment diagram how the bending moment diagram will be so at the simple support roller support in support moment will be zero so here moment is zero here moment is zero so for this point load the variation is linear variation is linear so it is like a triangle correct so exactly at this point you need to find the moment moment will be maximum at this particular point so if i consider like this from left hand side w by 2 into l by 2 moment about this point w by 2 into l by 2 how much it is w l by 4 again if i consider from right hand side w by 2 into l by 2 it is w l by 4 okay it is a standard also so here it is maximum and this is w l by 4 we want m by er diagram correct so this m by er diagram here ei is constant w l by 4 ei is that okay w l by 4 ei this is w l by 4 ei this is bending moment diagram okay so now so according to moment area theorem 1 so what it is the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve must be equal to area of m by er diagram between those two points okay so which are the points i need to consider here so in case of cantilever beam what you have done so here at particular point a theta a was zero if you are finding at point b that is theta b if you are finding so you have written theta b minus theta a so this is zero so now where the slope will be zero so this condition what is that condition at maximum deflection slope will be zero so where the maximum deflection exactly at this point so exactly at this point slope will be zero symmetrical load is there maximum deflection will be exactly at the center means l by 2 so at this particular point slope will be zero so i if i say the point it is c this is point c okay so what i will write theta a so this is same minus theta c okay what is theta c exactly at this point theta c is zero here exactly at this point slope will be zero this must be equal to area between a and c so a point is here c point is here i need to consider only this area the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve which are the points i am considering point a and point c or else i need to consider point b point c theta a and theta b will be same only if i calculate any one so the other one is same okay so what is the area of this it is triangle half into base is l by 2 into height is w l by 4 ei so if i simplify this so you will be getting w l square by 4 to the 8 it was a 16 16 ei so this is theta a okay check it so is this okay and the bending moment diagram will be always positive for simply supported beam for cantilever beam usually it will be negative unless only for external moment that is acting anti-clockwise then you will get him positive but most of the times for cantilever beam the bending moment diagram will be negative for simply supported beam the bending moment diagram will be always 
positive right so here you are cutting the section so here you are taking a moment so from what a sign connection cut the section from rightwards from leftwards if it is something like this then positive you are taking moment about this particular point so this is making clockwise so this is clockwise so if you consider right hand side anti-clockwise or anti-clockwise correct positive so this diagram is positive then one more thing what we are finding maximum deflection deflection exactly at the center okay so that is according to moment area theorem 2 okay so i need to find maximum deflection so this i will write it as tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at which point correct so if you compare with respect to cantilever beam problems so here it changes okay i am finding tangential deviation of point c so that is nothing but delta c i am finding correct this delta max is nothing but delta c so to find this so how to correlate that is one more sign convention tca tcb so what is the tangent at a so that is tangent at a is here so at tangent at c it will be something like this so that interpretation will not be there so what i will do so if i draw a tangent at point c so how the tangent will be like this correct this is a tangent at c this line and this line will be horizontal so if i what is this point this is point a so if i find this what is this this is nothing but delta a correct so the deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at c correct so similarly if i find this distance what it is this is point b this is delta b so here delta a is equal to delta b is equal to delta max all are same if i draw a tangent at this because this line and this line are parallel correct so with respect to this what i will write delta c must be equal to tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at c then the moment i need to take about point a so this delta max this distance and this distance are same what is this delta a this delta is nothing but tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at c correct this is a tangent from this this correct t a c nothing but delta c nothing but delta max all are same so then what is this moment of m by er diagram between a and c and moment is taken about which point point a this is important so you are finding moment about a do not find moment about c where you are finding the deflection with respect to cantilever problem with respect to simply supported problem here it is changes you go according to the theorem tac we are finding not tca if i write tca what it is the tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a if i draw a tangent at a it will be something like this so it is no relation correct instead of this if i find tac tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at c correct so this is delta a this delta a is equal to delta max even delta b so because these two lines are parallel correct so i hope you have got this so if i write so what is the area between a and c point a to c this is area so what is that half into base is l by 2 into height is w l by 4 yeah and perpendicular distance where i need to take plus one distance about point a important so what is this two third of l by 2 correct two third of l by 2 two third of l by 2 so simplify this you will get delta max w l cube by 48 w l cube by 48 ei so this is the answer for this 
okay so i hope you have understood this so do this problem again so check with this so only thing what you need to remember here is so instead of uh, tca i have written tac so when you are finding delta max but the moment is taken about the point a okay is that okay okay so let us solve quickly one more problem so a simply supported beam subjected to udl okay so it is also general type of loading so i'll be solving with uh, normal notations so we can solve with uh, some intensity of loading this is point a point b so again you are need to find delta max and theta max okay so here the previous problem this is nothing but theta b theta b equal to theta a equal to this so okay theta a and theta b will be same only okay okay so here delta max theta max theta max will be maximum means at the support this is the elastic curve so tangent at a tangent at b if you draw it so it's not required so this is theta a this is theta b so you are finding exactly at the center delta max okay so the bending moment diagram so symmetrical loading so whenever you come across this udl on uh, simply supported beam so maximum here it is wl square by 8 okay here zero moment here moment is zero exactly at the center wl square by 8 so if you find the reactions w into l into total load will be w into l so divided by 2 wl by 2 wl by 2 so again if you take at the center so what is the moment it is wl by 2 into l by 2 up to this wl by 2 into l by 2 correct l by 2 then this is clockwise so from here to here u del is there minus that is w into l by 2 into perpendicular distance l by 2 divided by 2 so it is l by 4 so if you simplify we will get w l square by 8 okay so again so if you are finding slope so again what are the points i need to consider theta c minus theta sorry correct slope theta a minus theta c equal to theta c is 0 so exactly at the point if i consider c point correct theta c moment of sorry uh, what is this area of m by ei diagram between a and c this is point a this is point c correct so what is the area of such type of figure so i had given figures beginning only two third of base is l by 2 into height is wl square by 8 if you simplify this so you will be getting theta a equal to theta b equal to wl cube by 24 ei so this is wl square by 8 ei okay so this is one thing so again similar to previous problem so if i find deflection that is now tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at c this is a tangent you are finding this this and this will be same correct this is t a c correct so this is nothing but delta max is equal to what is moment of m by er diagram between a and c and moment is taken about point a where you are finding the deflection so this is area is two third of base into height this is ei into 
perpendicular distance from here to here you are taking moment about this point so what is the uh, this distance is phi eighth of l by 2 okay phi by 8 of l by 2 so simplify this you will be getting phi w l dash to 4 divided by 384 by here this is delta max i hope in strength of material this uh, notation you are aware okay. so let us solve uh, one more problem on uh, simply supported beam so the problem statement is simply supported beam subjected to point loads at one third points there are two point loads at one third points calculate maximum slope and maximum deflection okay so this is a simply supported beam one end is hinged and other end is roller it is subjected to two point loads of intensity w w w kilonewton w kilonewton at one third points so means total is l so l divided by 3 so one third so 1 by 3 nothing but l by 3 l by 3 l by 3 okay so it is again a type of symmetric loading correct the load is acting symmetrically if you consider the entire span okay so what we need to calculate calculate maximum slope and maximum deflection so maximum slope and maximum deflection so whenever you come across a problem where the symmetrical loading is there the maximum slope and maximum deflection will be exactly at the center center means somewhere here so if i make this one as point c this one as point d so exactly at the center means somewhere here let us consider that point as e okay the notation may not be required but still for your understanding so exactly at the center means e so it is in n terms of span l so exactly at the center means l by 2 from here to here l by 2 from here to here correct i hope you are getting so maximum slope and maximum deflection maximum deflection will be, uh, will be exactly at the center slope will be maximum at the supports okay where the maximum deflection about that point slope will be zero so theta e will be zero correct so the condition is about the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero correct so at the point of maximum deflection slope is zero here the maximum deflection will be delta e so at this point theta e will be zero correct this is one condition we have discussed in the last problem correct so now how to go ahead with this problem so first we need to draw the bending moment diagram for this so how the bending moment diagram will be it is a standard loading if the symmetrical loading is acting so directly you can draw the bending moment diagram something like this this is the load and this is the load so here simple support here simple support so your bending moment diagram will be so exactly at this point exactly at this point it is something like this okay so moment at a will be zero this is point a this is point b moment at b will be zero moment at a is zero moment at b is zero so as we go near to the this points where the loads are acting so here it will be maximum so what is this maximum so total load if you calculate the reactions what are the reactions symmetrical load means total load divided by 2 okay the reactions are shared equally correct total load what is total load w plus w so, so it is 2w 2w divided by 2 so we'll be getting the reactions w w total load divided by 2 so the ra equal to rb equal to total load is 2w divided by 2 so nothing but 2 2 gone so you are left with w so w are the reactions correct so this is l by 3 l by 3 l by 3, l by 3. so what is the moment about this point force into distance w into l by 3 so this is 
sorry w into l by 3 so similarly from this end what is the moment about this point w into l by 3 this is w into l by 3 correct so w into l by 3 about this point moment so from left hand side so something like you are cutting a section here again if you're cutting a section here consider right hand side w into l by 3 so this is how you will be calculating the moment in simply supported beam correct there will be two supports you can cut a section and leftwards or rightwards if you want to take moment about this point consider leftwards so w into l by 3 if you want to take moment about this point consider rightwards w into l by 3 so then join this suppose if you want to consider the moment about this point considering right hand side instead of left hand side if you want to consider right hand side what will be the moment about this w into 2L by 3 minus W into L by 3. Again, you will be getting WL by 3 only. Okay. So, cut a section right hand side. Which are the loads? One is W. So, what is the moment about this? W into 2L by 3. So, L by 3, L by 3. Total distance is 2L by 3. So, anti-clockwise. So, this is clockwise. So, minus W into L by 3. I hope the sign convention. You are aware this is the condition so cut a section rightwards cut a section rightwards anti clockwise positive w into 2l by 3 positive then this will be making minus since it is clockwise so minus w into l by 3 if you do it again you will be getting w l by 3 only so simple thing is so if you want to find moment here left hand side w into l by 3 if you want to find moment here right hand side w into l by 3 so this is the diagram i hope you are aware with respect to strength of material you have done it okay let us continue with this so they are asking us maximum slope and maximum deflection so what is that here it is <coughs> what is delta e and what is theta sorry theta a and theta b correct so maximum slope will be exactly at support a and b maximum deflection will be exactly at point e so if you draw the elastic curve it will be something like this correct so maximum slope here maximum slope here so here theta a equal to theta b always why so it is symmetrical loading if the loading is unsymmetrical then theta a will not be equal to theta b so if you find any one theta a or theta b that is sufficient so both are same and they, those will be the maximum okay so according to moment area theorem 1 <coughs> moment area theorem 1 so what it says the change in slope between any two points in the elastic curve must be equal to area of m by a diagram between those two points now which are the two points i need to consider suppose if i am finding theta a so theta a it is unknown so what is known so at the point of maximum deflection slope is zero where the maximum deflection exactly at point e so this is the tangent these are the parallel lines so here there is no slope slope will be zero correct i need to consider point a and point e so here if i represent so point e is somewhere here exactly at the center so in the diagram this is e this is b so if i draw a line here okay for time being okay first we'll write this statement so theta a minus theta e theta a minus this is theta e equal to area of m by e r diagram between a and only e you are finding a e the m by e r diagram between o only only a and e correct so which are the diagrams now only this a and e so this is one triangle of height w l by 3 of base l by 3 so this base is l by 3 from here to here okay and one more diagram this rectangle so what is the height height is w l by 3 and what will be the base so can you tell me what will be the base just check it <coughs> so this is l by 3 this is total l by 3 so if you divide it by again 2 so exactly at the center so this will be l by 6 is it okay so total is l by 3 divided by 2 what you are getting so l by 6 l by 3 divided by 2 so you will be getting l by 
6 this will be l by 6 this side will be l by 6 this side will be l by 3 i hope you got this okay so we are interested in only this figure correct this triangle and this rectangle so theta e is 0 so at the point of maximum deflection slope is 0 so exactly here theta e is 0 so i am fighting theta a so this theta a is equal to theta b correct here either consider this side or this figure it is same equal to so now what is this area area of triangle what it is half base is l by 3 into height is w l by 3 ei we want m by ei diagram so do not forget to write ei w l by it is ei it is ei okay i will write it here so let us write it here ei okay so now if you simplify this so uh, this is one figure still we need to write this area of this rectangle plus what is the area of that so height is wl by 3i and base is l by 6 okay so 1 by 2 l by 3 into wl by 3i area of this triangle plus area of this rectangle base into height l by 6 into 3l by 3i so simplify this so you may be getting around 6 9 so you need to take the lcm so ultimately you will be getting around wl square by 9 ei okay just check this okay so this is one separate term this is separate term so i will solve this <coughs> just it is l w l square by 3 to 9 9 to the 18 18 ei this is one term plus here w l square by it is also 18 ei correct w l square by 18 here w l square by 18 ei so it is 2 w l square by 18 ei so 2 one the 2 nine the w l square by 9 e i correct so theta a or theta b equal to w l square by 9 e i is that okay so what we have done so theta a we are calculating the same thing will be theta b so area between a and e so where the slope is zero so which are the diagrams one triangle and one more is rectangle okay this is one thing okay similarly <coughs> we want to find according to moment area theorem 2 according to moment area theorem 2 what it is you are going to find maximum deflection delta max where it will be for the symmetrical loading exactly at the center nothing but you are finding delta e okay so what it is this can be written as so in terms of t c a t a c so i hope you remember so again let me draw the figure here first just to explain simply supported beam these are the loadings okay so the deflection will be something like this elastic curve point e is here this is maximum deflection so what we need to find so here if we draw a tangent this will be parallel to this correct this is delta e what we need to find but so according to this the tangential deviation of point e with respect to this is point a this is point b tangent drawn at a if i draw a tangent at a it will be something like this okay we are not getting this with respect to tangent at a we are not getting this so if i write like previous problem okay if i find this what it is this is tangent at e correct if i draw tangent at e this line correct 
so this is the point a with respect to tangent at e if i measure this so what it is t a e correct instead of this i need to write it as t a e now the representation is correct so what do you mean by this t a e tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at e you are calculating deflection at a so what is this deflection this height since this line this line parallel it is with respect to this correct you will be getting delta e only okay so i hope you remember with respect to previous problem what we solved okay if you want to find the delta e so you need to write it as t a e with respect to a not exactly t e a okay here this is the change with respect to cantilever beam problem and simply supported beam problem okay t a e nothing but you will get this so what is this tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at e this is a tangent at e so we are getting this this is nothing but what this this side and this side are same correct so we are finding delta e okay so moment of m by ei diagram between a and e and where the moment is taken moment is taken about which point you are getting actually tae you need to take moment about point a moment is taken about point a okay so i will start from here so there are point a point e and you need to take the moment about point a from here to this okay again for this this will be somewhere here from here to this what is this so this is from here to here so i will write it here it is 2 third of l by 3 correct so what is this from here to it is l by 3 so again it is divided by 2 l by 6 from here to here it is l by 6 l by 6 divided by 2 now okay total is l by 3 from here to here it is l by 3 so we have divided again made half so l by 6 again that half so exactly at the center so it is how much from here to here it is l by 6 divided by 2 so total it will be how much this is from here to here it is l by 3 plus l by 6 divided by 2 means l by 12 okay so just i will write it here it will be clear so for this okay should i draw it once again if it is not visible the diagram is something like this now okay this is point a this is point b this is point e so from here to here it is l by 3 from here to here it is l by 3 from here to here it is l by 3 correct so you have done this so this is again l by 3 divided by 2 so means it is l by 6 again in this this will be here so from here to here it is l by 6 divided by 2 l by 12 correct for this this will be here from here to point a to up to this it is one just a minute <clears throat> and this is two third two third of l by 3 so this is l by 12 so but we want from here to here okay so now i hope it is clear so first write for this triangle area is half into base is l by 3 into height is what is the height wl by 3i wl by 3i into perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance what is this from minimum position it is two third of l by 3 plus the area of this rectangle so what is that rectangle height is wl by 3i into this base is 
L by 6 into perpendicular distance from here to here. From here to here it is L by 3 plus L by 12. L by 12. You simplify this, you will be getting, so I will write it here, delta E, that is delta maximum equal to, do the calculation, so you will be getting 23 by 648 W E L cube by E I. This is delta E. Okay. So please check this. Do the calculation once again. So that will be this answer. Okay. So similarly here you can calculate the, if you want, I have made this point as C and D. So this is point C and this is point D. So you can calculate delta C, you can calculate delta D and you can calculate theta C, you can calculate theta D. So what all this? So if you want to find delta C, so between A and C, the moment is taken about A. What is delta D? Sorry, theta D. So again, similarly, you can consider this. This side also you can consider. So between B and D okay so similarly theta c theta delta d you can calculate okay let us stop it here in continuation with the previous symmetrical loading problems on simply supported beam let us consider one more problem with the varying moment of inertia of the beam okay so let us consider this point as a so this point as b and this is c so this is d and this is e so what we'll do we'll consider different moment of inertia of of this particular beam problem so from a to b let us consider it as i from b to c c to d let us consider it as 2i then again from d to e, it is i so the type of loading is again symmetrical loading so if this is the case okay so how to go ahead with the problem so first you will draw the bending moment diagram so how to draw the bending moment diagram for the simply supported beam with the symmetrical loading so the spans let us consider it as 3 meters 3 meters 3 meters 3 meters okay now it is symmetrical loading okay exactly at the center total span is 12 meters so from a to c it is 6 meters from c to E it is 6 meters okay so from okay so from a to c it is 6 meters from c to e it is 6 meters okay so here uh, if i draw the uh, variation of bending moment diagram so for simply supported beam subjected to a concentrated load at the center okay symmetric loading reaction will be wl by 2 w by 2 total load divided by 2 okay the reactions will share the total load equally correct so exactly at the point of application of load you will be getting the maximum bending moment something like this and this value will be wl by 4 correct w by 2 into from here to here it is l by 2 so if i draw that only so here the bending moment diagram something like this so what is this value this value will be w l by 4 or else if i calculate the reactions total load is 100 the reaction will be 50 50 okay so exactly at the center if i calculate the reaction is 50 50 into 6 that is 300 so or else 100 into l is total 12 meters divided by 4 so 1200 divided by 4 nothing but 300 kilonewton meter only correct or else the reaction will be 50 so this reaction will be 50 the moment about c 50 into 6 it is 300 correct so similarly here what is the moment about this point at point b since the moment of inertia is changing i require the value of bending moment at this point so what it is 50 into 3 it is 150 from this side so you can cut a section from rightwards you can cut a section from left 
you can calculate the moment so again if i want to find at d so i will consider right hand side that is the advantage in case of simply supported beam from right hand side so 50 into again 3 it is also 150 so ultimately it will be a symmetrical loading okay so moment of inertias are changing so from a to b it is i so from a if i show the points this is a this is b this is c this is d and this is e a to b it is 150 by ei again from this side e to d it is i so i will write this one as 150 by ei d to e okay right hand side from point d exactly this side okay from point b exactly this side it is i from point b to d it is 2i okay so but the diagram is something like this okay what i need to do i need to split into standard figures okay so if i consider exactly at point b this side it is 2i so if i draw this find the value it is 150 by 2ei okay if i consider similarly this side it is 150 by 2ei correct so even this value maximum it is 300 by 2ei because b to d it is 2ei total is 300 by 2ei so from point b to d it is constant in moment of inertia 2i so how i will split so i will split into one rectangle here again this side also one rectangle here so this is triangle this is rectangle this is rectangle this is triangle so what is the height of this triangle the height of triangle is 150 by 2 ei and here this side it is also 150 by 2 ei the remaining height for this triangle what it will be total is 300 so this is 150 remaining is 150 total is 300 from here to here it is 150 remaining is 150 so this is also 150 by 2 ei okay suppose if you want to find what is the slope at a and what is the slope at b correct it is a symmetrical loading so you will be getting the maximum uh, slope at the supports and it will be same since a symmetrical loading slope at a and slope at a will be same so if you find any one so that is theta a minus theta c so at the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero correct so where the maximum deflection so here it will be the maximum deflection this point slope will be zero if i draw the tangent this line this line will be parallel so from here to here i need to consider theta a minus theta c that is zero equal to area of m by a diagram between a to c correct so which other diagrams i need to consider total a to c how many figures will be there this rectangle this sorry this triangle this rectangle and this triangle okay so calculate that so whatever the value so just i will write it so area of this triangle is half into base is 3 meters into height is 150 by ei okay so plus area of this rectangle it is height is 150 by 2 ei into base is 3 meters okay from here to here it is 3 meters plus area of again this triangle half into base is 3 meters height is 150 by ei simplify this you will get theta a this theta a equal to theta e equal to whatever some value okay similarly if you want to find the uh, maximum deflection so that is delta c nothing but delta max exactly at the center you can write this as t a c so you need to find this tangential relation of point a with respect to tangent on it see this and this are same instead of finding this directly we will first find this this and this are same you need to take moment about point a so for first figure this into this perpendicular distance for this this perpendicular distance for this this perpendicular distance correct so go on calculating moment about a so you will be getting delta max okay this is one more problem where the symmetrical loading with different uh, moment of inertia moment of inertia is changing this is how you need to go ahead with the problem
okay so let us stop it here we'll continue in next class thank you